Good afternoon to all. Welcome to Anu Krishna Online Chemistry Classes. And today we will discuss about the volume percentage. The volume percentage is one of the method, the expression of the concentration of um, solute. And the volume of solute can be applied. The quantity of solute and solvent or the quantity of solute and solution both are present in the um, milliliters. Both are present in the milliliters. The physical quantity of solute and solvent or solution can be expressed in the units of volume, either milliliters or cubic centimeter or liters. Okay, now the both quantities are given in these units. We can use the volume percentage. Volume percentage. Okay, now. then the volume percentage is equal to formula the volume of solute by volume of solution into 100. Volume percentage is equal to volume of solute by volume of solution into 100. Or the volume percentage is equal to volume fraction of solute into 100. Volume fraction of solute is nothing but volume of solute by total volume of solution. How much I am taking? 100 ml of the solution. Then it is called as a volume percentage. Okay. The quantity of solute and solvent. Quantity of solute and solution or the solvent given in milliliters, given in milliliters, and then the volume percentage is equal to the volume of solute by. The volume percentage is equal to volume of solute by volume of um, solution into 100. Volume of solution into 100. And from this uh, volume of solute by volume of solution, it is called as a volume fraction of um, solute into 100 into 100 and this is represented in the formula wise volume percentage is equal to volume of solute by volume of solute plus volume of solvent into 100 here capital V is nothing but volume of solvent small v is nothing but volume of solute both solute plus solvent is called as a solution volume of solute by volume of solution into 100 this is the volume percentage and there is no any units for the volume percentage also because the volume represented in the milliliters then the volume of solution also milliliters milliliters by milliliters finally it is cancelled okay so no units for the value percentage then we will discuss about the one problem the 15 ml of Exane is added to seventy five ML of heptane. Fifteen ML of exane is added to the seventy five ML of heptane. Find the volume percentage. Find the volume percentage. Here volume of solute is given and the volume of solvent also given. Which is acted as a solute 15 ml of hexane. Which is acted as a solvent 75 ml of um, heptane. Then the volume of solution is nothing but solute plus solvent. Finally we are getting the 15 plus 75. It is a 90. Okay. And substituting these values we are getting the finally volume percentage. So according to given values. Volume of solute is equal to 15 ml of hexane and the volume of solvent that is nothing but heptane 75 ml 
Why heptane is taken as a solvent? Because it is a large quantity, 75 ml. And 15 ml of hexane is a small quantity. That's why it is acting as a solute. Then volume of solution is equal to Fifteen plus seventy fine. Then it is a ninety ml. Ninety ml. Then what about the volume percentage? Volume percentage is equal to the volume of solute fifteen by. What about the volume of solution ninety into hundred? Fifteen one ja, fifteen six ja. Fifteen one ja, fifteen six ja. Hundred by sixty. Six is nothing but sixteen point six 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 something. Okay, sixteen point six six percentage. That is about the volume percentage of given problem. Fifteen ml of hexane is added to the seventy five ml of heptane. For this problem, what about the volume percentage? Sixteen point six. Okay, and the next thing is a. Another next method is a weight to volume percentage. Weight to volume. Up to now we have discussed about the volume, volume and weight to weight. Now we will discuss about the weight to volume. That means the quantity of solute is given in the grams. The quantity of solute is given in the grams. Then the quantity of solution is given in the milliliters. Okay, volume of solution and then amount of solute. In this case, we can take it the weight to volume percentage. Weight to volume percentage. So here quantity of Solute in grams. And quantity of solution in milliliters. Milliliters. Okay. This is the weight to volume. Then weight to volume percentage is equal to. Weight of solute by volume of solution into hundred. Weight of solute by volume of solution into hundred. So next formula: the weight of solute by volume of solution into hundred. Okay, weight by volume of solution into hundred. Ah, uh, simply I am writing W by capital V into hundred. W by V into hundred. This is the weight to volume percentage. Weight to volume percentage. Then now down the problem. Find the Weight to volume percentage of two point five grams of NaCl in eighty ml of foam solution. Okay, find the weight to volume percentage. Whenever the two point five grams of NaCl is present in the eighty ml of solution, eighty ml of solution is equal to two point five grams of solute in it only. Then what about the weight to volume percentage? Here the weight of solute in 
is equal to 2.5 grams and whatever the volume of solution 80 ml volume of solution is equal to 80 ml then weight to volume percentage weight of solute 2.5 by 80 into 100 80 into 100 2.5 into 100 that is nothing but uh, 250 by 80 83 is a 240 83 is a 240 0 0 cancel 25 by 8 8 3 is a 24 10 will be and 8 1 is a 8 3.1 3.1 it is a weight to volume percentage 2.5 grams of NaCl in 80 ml of solution and these are the three methods for expressing the concentration of solute weight percentage volume percentage and weight to volume percentage okay thank you students subscribe my channel and share the video